Hello everyone, I am Sonali. In this video, I will show you how to do the formatting in Google Forms, how to make your text bold, italic, and how to use the underline option in Google Forms. In previous videos, I had explained how to create a Google Form, how to create a customized header for your Google Form. By using the themes option, you can add here customized header for your Google Form. You can change the theme color by using this option theme color. Here background color option you can use the background of this form. If you want to change, if you want the white then you can use the white or you can change the image from here. If you want this color for your form then you can just select theme color. For background color use this option. And here is the option for the form style. And here is only the four options. Basic, decorative, formal, playful. If you are clicking on a playful, see this form text is changes into blue. When if you are using the decorative, then like blue. Okay. But if you want to make a text bold, then how to make it? See, first we will convert this into the basic. Okay. I want this student name in a bold letter. Or if you want to do the underlying second word, how to do this? First, we will see the preview of this form. So, preview of this form is like student name, number, roll number, and like this. Okay, we will close it. How to convert this student name into bold letter? Or how to do the underline? How to use the italic option? So, just go to google.com first and type here bold text generator. Just type bold text generator. Then, you will get the uh, type lingojump.com bold letter okay you can use this site for this lingojump.com bold text generator so just use this just click on this bold text generator so you will get the new window your bold text generator and here you can type the anywhere suppose here is the word name then here you will get the different bold and the in a different font page this is serif text. Okay, here is a, all the text in a bold, and this serif stands are the font page, font name, different font. Serif stands and you will get the different. Okay, here is a different font. You can use the any from this. If you want to do the strike through effect or underline effect, you can just select from this. See, you can use this dash underline or double underline or this different style if you want to use this different style then you can use or you can use this winding style you can use this this text with this more design you can select any text from here if you want to select this underlying text then you can just select this right click on it copy the text and paste into your Google form. But I want the student's name, not just the name. So select this text, copy this text, paste this text into your bold generator, paste the text here. So here you will get this. See, this is strike through option, this is underline option, this is double underline option. I just want this name in a bold letter. So just select this, copy this text. And go to your Google form and paste the text here. Okay, now this student name in a bold text. If you want to change this text now, then just select, copy it, go to bold text generator, paste the content here. So you will get here the see this mobile number, this different style. You can use the any from here. If you want to use some window style, then you can use from here. Just select and paste. Okay. When you are using this bold text generator, the Google form accepts this data directly. But when you are copying the data from Word or from the any other place, it will not accepting the formatted data. It will just print in the normal text. Okay. If you are trying to uh, do this uh, strike to or underline effect in a um, word, 
Finally, if you are trying to copy the data in this data into Google Forms, then Google Forms only just saves the plain text in Google Forms. But when you are using this word text generator, at that time, this Google Forms accepting the data as it is. Suppose you want this text and just uh, right click, copy this text, go to your Google Forms and paste the text here. Okay? Now here is mobile number. If you want the uh, some text, uh, this row number in a double uh, underline or single uh, underline, then just again go here and paste the data here. So here you will get the row number and different style for this row number. You can just copy this and paste into your Google form and make your form attractive. Suppose if you want to Google form in this size, then you can use or if you want in italic size, just copy it and paste into your Google form. Just paste the data here. So this phone number. And you can see the preview for this form. So just to go to preview. And here, see the student name in a bold, mobile number in a different size, this roll number in a italic size. In this way, you can use this formatting. And for this, you just go to google.com and type here on google.com bold text generator. So you will get this type of a window. Use this site lingocharm.com. Directly you can use this site. So here type the text, you will get the signature text at this site and copy this right side text and paste into your Google form. So you will get this type of output. Thank you very much. And if you like my video, please share with your friends. Thank you very much.